да. Это, да, это очень ну, это старинный город, и все, всегда был порт и э, торговля. Такой город. Даже до, до Осло. Ай, из этой бастой. Ja. Helt ut i stedet fram. Ja. Hvor mye må vi betale? Det er fint, takk. Ah, prikker det også. Работают э, обеда, обед э, 11.30, потом ну, подальше работают или получат э, образование, и э, потом ужин. И после этого э, они ну, уходят э, свободно. Нет, mm -hmm. нет, нет э, таких... Это мой имя? Я профессиональный профессиональный психотерапевт Uh, and I never had any kind of of of, of a dream or um, or wishes of becoming a, a, a prison director, but it had to do with this island, this prison, mm -hmm. and and uh, uh, that is why I'm here because what we are trying to do here is to develop a completely new way of thinking how to be able to run a prison. Mm -hmm. Definitely, during the last years, I think a lot of things has happened with, uh, with reorganizing and looking in the alternative ways of how to. I think uh, m my opinion, in a way, is that a lot of things has happened uh, in in the positive way. Mm -hmm. But, but there there are some basic differences between uh, when when you look at the correctional services, Norway. Um, I'm, I'm not saying that we should be so proud about this, but I think Norway is is um, quite good uh, in 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 organizing the correctional services. The standard of our prisons, uh, our way of of of, of uh, focusing on humanity, uh, is different. Not 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 only from Russia, but uh, most other countries. I find myself saying very often that. There will always, unfortunately, be a need for a psychiatric hospital, as it will be for a prison. The question is how how we run these institutions, the content of it, the quality of it, the humanity of it. Talking about prison or talking about psychiatric hospitals, we have to to rethink and reorganize the way to do these things. Mm -hmm.
Да, да, да. Но именно в этом домике э, они получают тренинг, э, ну, как жить э, в доме, как, как вести себе дома. Э, э, да, в смысле одному. Э, много из заключенных э, приезжают сюда э, буквально прямо из улицы. Они не имеют опыт, опыта э, жить в жильянных домах. Сейчас идет, идет ремонт, но это кухня, очевидно. Так, здесь они получают все эти, о, 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 все, все уроки. Э, приготовить еду, э, чистить свои комнаты, ну и вот и так далее. Uh, meaning that uh, about 97-98% of those who are on this island, they have uh, started their prison sentence in a high security traditional prison. And they have to apply themselves and to, to be transferred to this place. And they have to convince us that they would like to take responsibility for their own life. The punishment in the, Nor in, 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 in the country of Norway is just one thing, you lose your freedom. Mm -hmm. It's not a question about making your time in prison to, into a hell. It's more a question about there are certain people who have committed certain type of crime uh, who we look at them as uh, persons who may be a threat to the society so we have to keep the society safe that is the reason why we send people to prison and the, the punishment is the loss of freedom that is why we can have a prison like this mm -hmm. because this this is not very much out here which will remind you about a typical prison but you have lost your freedom you have lost your freedom because you have committed a serious crime and you may be a person who are a threat to the society so we have to deal with you in a way to make sure that you we reduce the possibility for you uh, commit a new crime when you are released. That's that is the basic thing for us. Живут живут три человека в отдельных комнатах. Это ну есть такой то называется ИФИ Internet for Insight. Это интернет для заключенных. Не в домах, но там в, в дом администрации, там есть компьютеры э, с э, ограниченным э, доступом интернета. Так они, mm. они определили э, доступ для э, заключенных. Uh, uh, personal disorder uh, problems, uh, uh, mental problems, yes. Here on, on, on this island, in this prison, our main focus is on the relation between the staff and the inmate. I have again and again said that the prison also need to deal with the, um, uh, the, 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 the challenge of being a place of healing. You see, uh, focusing on uh, the needs of the inmates, and as I said, a lot of the inmates in Norwegian prisons have a various kind of different kind of, 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 of mental uh, personal problems and mental problems. And here, as a the first um, um, human ecological prison in the world, which is our theoretical basis, mm -hmm. we are focusing on the relation all the time. The relation between uh, uh, the officer and the inmate, uh, the relation between the governor and the inmate, how, how we can focus on here and now. To, 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 we, we call this prison a place of um, developing responsibility. We call this prison uh, a village prison because we, the whole island here is a prison and if you walk around you will find that this is reminding you about a small typical Norwegian village. We are focusing on what we call the principle of normality. You have lost your freedom but we are focusing on uh, you have to be in charge of your life. 
me being here, I'm going to support you in being a human being. I shall see you. I take interest in you. Um, listening to your listening to your question, now I I was I, I suddenly told, uh, were thinking about um, uh, your great Russian author. Um, Dostoevsky. He says, if you would like to find out what kind of country you have visited or are in, you should look at the way they treat their inmates. Here, in this prison, there are three uh, important pillars. One is humanity. The other th uh, pillar is responsibility. The third is respect. Um, um. So you will find hopefully that here in this prison we treat inmates, doesn't matter what they have done on crime, we treat them in a human way as humans. Second, I believe that the only way I can make you to change your way of living, if you are a p person who have committed crime, is to create a situation where the change comes from inside, inside of you. In this island you will find 115 um, inmates. They have in common that they have committed the most serious crime in Norway. They have got the longest sentences. Um, для заключенных, uh, у которых де дети. Mm -hmm. Так, это курс uh, о том, как, uh, как вести себя uh, с, uh, к детям, uh, и как решить проблемы, связанные с... Uh, ну, как объяснить, что... Uh, объяснить детям, что я нахожусь в тюрьме и так далее. Это, ну, чтобы укрепить э, контакт от отцов с э, детьми и с семьей, и чтобы принять более ответственность, э, э, ну, воспитывать. Э, с... Это все предметы, чтобы заключенные стали любить природу. А вот это норвежский пузирает. Балла клава. Фри пузирает. Но на самом деле это ну, все предметы для ну, велосипедов, э, скалолазания. Ну, это футбольная команда, называется э, Баста и Дрецлаг. И они играют, э, играют вместе с э, ну, нормальными людьми в, э, на, на городе. But you see, this, I, now I talk about, you, you will find, you will find that this place, they are treated in a human way, it's plenty of space. And then I talk about responsibility, because a, a traditional prison, being in Murmansky or in Oslo, do not make you responsible for anything. 
the responsibility for inmates are mine. <laughs> if you are a, a, a prisoner, uh, someone will wake you up in the morning, uh, make sure that you are there and there and there to a certain time, and so and so. It has nothing to do with developing responsibility. If, if we should believe in this kind of punishment which is linked up to prison, we need to create a situation where the inmate will be given responsibility for his life. We, we treat these kind of situations one by one. Uh, we, we try to look into the situation as, uh, as such, uh, the problem of the inmate. If, if we have an inmate who has been on drugs in 15 years, and he has been on two years um, uh, break. We discover by test when he returned that he has been taking drugs. We have to deal with the reality that this man is addicted to drug. It's not legal to do this. We have to put on some reaction. It does not necessarily mean that the first thing, they, the first time we do this, he's finished. We have to deal with the situation because what we have to keep in mind all the time we are focusing on the uh, situation that we shall reduce the risk of uh, reoffending after release. We focus on rehabilitation. The crime is committed. It's in the past. The punishment is the loss of freedom. And we have to deal with here and now and the future. And that is to bring the person into a situation where he will not harm no one more. Then the third pillar I talked about is respect. I do not believe that I can uh, threat you to respect me. I can put on my uniform with all my stars. I can use all kinds of, of things and say, you should respect me. But there is a missing link here. Because a lot of people who are in prison, in, in Norway and in Russia, they have never had any respect for themselves. And some of them have lost it. Or not only talking about respect for themselves, but the self-identity. The, the, what we call uh, in, in Norwegian, uh, self-build, self-respect. You know, the way you, you feel, the way you look at yourself. A lot of prisons are filled with people who don't believe in themselves. You believe in yourself. And I think that is very important. You have... For me to, for me to to uh, to um, before I can before I can expect inmates to respect the system, I have to develop a system here where make it possible for them to re re regain uh, self respect, get a new experience on themselves, and that is what is happening here sometimes. Not very often, inmates discover that through the way they have been seen, related to, given responsibility, given the possibility even to fail, you know, do stupid thing, we have to create a situation where they can experience that change come, come from inside. They can look at themselves in the mirror and say, I'm not just a shit, I'm not just a bad person. I, they start to respect themselves in a new way. Then we can talk about, you should also respect me, and your neighbor, and uh, whatever, God or whoever it was. But you first have to believe in yourself and respect yourself. This is the three main pillars in Boston prison. That is why in European prisons, the average reoffending rate is about 70%. Mm. And in this prison, in the same evaluation report, for 16 persons. 16 Вы говорите да, от, открытие тюрьмы, где э, э, ну, семья и ну, родственники и друзья могут э, посетить своих э, ну, заключенных. Э, они могут здесь остаться два часа, mm -hmm. но э, можно тоже э, такое ну, двоенное посещение э, получать, чтобы там ну, э, Реально будет 4 часа. Так это комнаты посещения. Угу. 
Там на другой части там есть офис э, антинаркотической э, mm. работы. Э, там, если заключение э, хотят, они могут получить э, профессиональную помощь э, из психолога. Э, но они сами должны э, зазнать, что у них есть проблемы с наркотикой. Часто здоровье, там э, врачи, э, стоматолог, э, физиотерапевт. Там они купаются. General advice. I, I think that uh, being Russian or being Norwegian or being uh, from Iceland or wherever, uh, I think it is important to be proud of and to know your own background and your own culture and your own roots. Uh, I think that is very important. Um, because I think we, we need to belong to something. We need to have some common uh, ground. Uh, which is which also has to have to do with our identity as as person, uh, but I don't think Norway have very much to offer uh, Russia in that way because I I look at Russia as a country, uh, a people who are very proud of their culture and background and the music and theater and the literature and so on. Uh, talking about prisons, uh, I think um, you see, you are now talking to a person who don't believe in punishment. I do not believe in punishment and has nothing to do with uh, religious belief or something. It has to do with fact. Because all international research connected to punishment as a reaction to crime say one thing, that punishment in itself does not work. At the same time, we need a system where we can react on people who commit crime Sometimes we need to remove people from the society because they are too much a threat to the society. But the punishment in itself does not work. So we have to concentrate on during the time people who have been taken out of the society, put into some kind of prison system. We need to, to concentrate upon supporting what is good in that person. As a, as a psychotherapist, I cannot cure you, but in relation with you, working with you, relating to you, hopefully you may discover that you can make some changes in your life and that, that I, can, I can go for this, make some cognitive changes, things changes in, in your self-identity and feelings. That's the way we need to work with inmates too. Because what is the alternative? In USA, in America, um, uh, th there are more prisoners in, in American prisons, I think, than it is in, in Russia. Uh, and in, in UK, they are building new prisons, new prisons and new prisons. But the reoffending rate explodes. So we have, to, we have to try to show that we can run a prison in a very different way. And that is why I am here, that is why Tour is here, and that is why you are here, hopefully, to see that we can do these things very different. Let me tell you that you talked about violence. Um, in Norwegian prisons, like other countries, you will find that inmates sometimes make threats to other uh, inmates, do harm to other inmates even make threats to officers. These things does not happen here, never. You find yourself on an island with 115 inmates. We are not armed at all. Nothing serious things happen in that way here because we are putting all our um, uh, concentration upon what we call dynamic security. We are together with the inmates. We treat them like humans. We are trying to find out what is going on in you. We are trying to ease down conflicts. We are trying to, to relate to inmates in a positive way. 
uh, I I am now in a state where I start to get tired and fed up of, of uh, people from other countries coming to film on this island, and they are only <coughs> filming the, the birds and the freedom and the green grass and the horses and and so. I think yes, of course, this island is a great, it's a good place, it's a blessing uh, to have this kind of 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 of, uh, of uh, scenery. But that is not the most important thing. The most important thing is the staff. The quality of the staff, the attitude of the staff, the education of the staff, uh, the way the staff look at you. We, we don't, I do not want staff here who are basically are here because they want to be in power. I want a staff here who are interested in human beings, who are good in a psychological way of, of working. So it's a quality, the attitude, on the staff which is important this can be that is why this kind of prison can be set up in where wherever you would like to do but you have to fo have focus on the the staff you see in norway all institutions including prisons are run they are based upon uh, the law the regulations okay nothing else regulations and 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 and, uh, and the 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 law but this prison we have something in addi in addition to that we have this human ecological philosophy as a theory as a culture ba in, as, as a basement meaning that we are focusing all the time on that things connect the whole island is run in an ecological way. You see? Mm -hmm. So in that way we teach the inmate that we support the nature, we don't kill it. Mm -hmm. We don't use any fertilizers, we don't use any poisoning, we just support what is. We produce a lot of the food to our own kitchen. Mm -hmm. uh, the in your island. Yeah. yeah, and we have a fishing boat so we, we fish. And Muslims uh, can go, we, we, they are running their own shop. Mm -hmm. You have to look at the shop. Mm -hmm. There you can buy halal uh, meats. 115 inmates. Mm -hmm. Last year we had about 30% of these people were from other countries. Mm -hmm. Trying to say that we, are, we have a challenge with all these cultures and, 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 uh, and the religions and so on. But it seems to work. But that is why we, we focus so much in being together with the inmates. Baste fängsel är er ett av de fängslen som möjligen det mest omtalade fängsel i internationell media i dessa tider. Och vi har vi har fler internationella besök varje månad. Vi har också haft någon hänvändelser från Ryssland, bland annat ryssisk kriminalomsorg och ryssisk TV, men de har ända inte varit här på besök. I trust that you will find the walking around together with tour interesting. Yes. Probably I will see you to lunch. Yeah. Um, um, just, just walk around, have a look, uh, uh, speak to the inmates. Очень строго, никаких камер. Вначале мы все формальные вещи делаем. Вы же помните это разделение? Здесь все в ахуй приходят полнейшие при наличии камер. Серьезно. Да это не шухерить. Раньше времени пока не делают какие-то формальные дела. Меня тут местное руководство просит, чтобы действительно вы не снимали территорию колонии. Они говорят, вы все-таки там где-то поблизости снимали. Но все-таки, да, вот именно их колонию, Олаф, не надо делать. Потому что это, собственно, они меня, так сказать, по-хорошему попросили. А? Ну понятно, да, то есть вот можно чужие снимать, а их не стоит, потому что они, собственно, очень сильно контролируют и попросили. Нет, подождите, еще одна колония с той стороны дороги. А слушай, этот пресс снимал мне на фоне, вышел автоматчик, слышишь? Вот мы здесь снимались, а слушай, этот пресс, они сзади домов зашли, да? Вышел автоматчик на вышке, начал орать и снял с плечо винтовку. Вы убежали, легли сразу? Нет. Что, смелый такие? Не, он с телефоном вышел, потом положил телефон, снял с плечо винтовку и начал кричать.